In this video, we're going to learn some basics of a uh, BIM model. What do you need is Autodesk Revit software and uh, the actual model. Open the file. First, we're going to look at some reference on the top. Some of that are probably similar to what you see in AutoCAD. But with BIM, we don't really draw lines and circles. Instead, we're modeling the walls, doors, roof, and the floors. They're the actual objects of the model. Now we can look into the 3D model from below. You can zoom in and out by controlling the wheel on your computer mouse. If you hold it, you will be able to move around. Uh, what I meant is this by this time you might have noticed that there is a small cube if you go and grab the corner of that cube you will also be able to rotate the model in any way you like this is a four-story building with underground parkade in the back you have a parking lot on the left side, there are two small windows. One is the property, and the other one is the project browser. If you don't see them, you go to view, view the interface. You can turn on and off of anything you want to see or you don't want to see. If we pick an object, one section of the roof, you can see on the property, it will say installation on metal deck, EPDM. Now, if you want to change the focus and pick a section of the wall, the property actually changes. We're going to look into the other uh, window, which is the project browser. If you want to click on different levels, basement, level one, level two, level three level four and the roof if you want to go down and uh, look at different levels of ceiling plan you can see most of the ceilings are suspended t-bar system next you can look at uh, different 3d views the 3d views are probably the most attractive things in a Revit model move on to the exterior elevations exterior elevations are showing you what it look like when you walk around the building there are two sections showing the cuts through the building from two different directions finally the feature we want to show you for today is the walkthrough this is the exciting part of the Revit model make sure you select the object then from the toolbar then you can click on edit walkthrough remember to change the frame to start from the beginning so you will need to set the value to be one of 300 now from the edit walkthrough menu then you can click on the play button This is the way you leave the parking lot from your car and then enter the building from a side door. This is stairway. Going into this door, then you will see the bookstore area. Although we don't really have any books um, on the shelf. Moving on. Passing those shelves, then you will see a big glass door. This is the entrance to the cafeteria. You can see that my computer is not uh, uh, functioning very fast, apparently. So that's why the walkthrough seems to be quite slow. But if you have a faster computer, you are going to enjoy ex this experience a little bit more. Yeah, so from here you can see uh, there are some uh, cafeteria uh, furniture like uh, tables and chairs uh, there's also a reception area where people can place order 
uh, passing all of those seating area and then you will get to the exit. Uh, of course, people can also enter the building from this side as well. So you get the idea, essentially the walkthrough is trying to show you what it looks like when you a person is physically walking through the constructed facility, although nothing has been built yet. Right? Uh, the cool concept is called virtual design and construction. Uh, another bonus is the, the project owner or the client can see what the vision looks like after the project has been built. Now we are outside the building on the sidewalk, you can find some trees and uh, also some grass and uh, sidewalk. Right? Um, when it's all finished, then we are back to the starting point. This concludes our short introduction on building information modeling. In the next video, we're going to do some content takeoff.